key figure from Star Trek, the original series, was a big fan of Deep Space Nine and preferred it over the next generation for two big reasons. DS9 hit screens two years after Roddenberry passed away, and the show's stationary location and moral gray areas led fans to criticize Deep Space Nine for not embodying the Star Trek ethos. This was completely untrue, as Star Trek DS9 challenged Gene Roddenberry's vision to make it more pertinent for a modern audience. Dorothy Catherine Fontana, better known by her initials DC Fontana, was a key part of Star Trek, the original series creative team. She wrote such classic episodes as Charlie X and Journey to Babel. When Gene Roddenberry brought Star Trek back to TV in 1987 with Star Trek Next Generation, Fontana also returned, but sadly she didn't enjoy the experience as much as she enjoyed writing her one and only DS9 episode. DC Fontana co-wrote the Star Trek Deep Space Nine season one episode Dax, which expanded on the Trill culture. After years of respectful silence, Fontana finally explained her reasons for leaving TNG in the 2014 documentary William Shatner Presents Chaos on the Bridge. On top of the constant script rewrites by Gene Ronberry, Fontana also identified his lawyer, Leonard Meislish, as an antagonistic figure whose behavior made her lead the show. Research consultant Richard Arnold verified Fontana's recollection by saying in the documentary that Leonard was horrible to Dorothy. DC Fontana went on to write for other big space series like Babylon 5 and Earth Final Conflict. She's also known for writing the stories for many popular Star Trek video games. Star Trek Deep Space Nine episode Far Beyond the Stars, set during the 1950s, it depicted the lives of a group of sci-fi writers and used subtle connections to Fontana. It was a sweet nod to one of Star Trek's most iconic writers from her favorite Trek show.